Raven lads, welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kosi. We are back again with another one that is very interesting to hear, listen to, watch, whatever kind of uh, form you, you, you're using. It's interesting. Arsenal are potentially, Arsenal are potentially heading for another takeover talk. Three billion Qatari takeover for Arsenal. That has been the talk for the past 48 hours. And why not? On Kosi's Arsenal podcast, like I said, we will discuss all the stories and news around Arsenal. So please do smash a like on the video. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel as well. We move very close to 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year. We should be at least at 40 so that by the beginning of next year, we get to 50,000. Now, I've looked at a couple of stories. I've looked at a couple of reports uh, before coming here. And they all suggest the same thing. It is not a hoax. It is actually true. The Qatar royal family, currently PSG owners, want to take over Arsenal Football Club. It is not Daniel Ek. It is not um, Aliko Dangote. It is the Qatari royal family we're gonna be diving into that the question i would love to pose to you let me know down in the comments below is would you rather sell to qatar to the qatari royal family because they do have uh, the money they will invest they could make us another psg they could make us another manchester city or would you sell to uh daniel egg because you know daniel egg he is an Arsenal fan. He loves Arsenal, and he has that emotional connection with the club, with the Qatar, uh, with the Qataris. They don't have that emotional connection. The, 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 all they care about is money. They will pump in the money, and they will spend the money. And Arsenal, within a very short you know, period of time, will get back to where we want to be. But they don't have that kind of identity. They don't want to instill the identity that Daniel Ek wants to instill. Do you sell to Daniel Ek? Do you sell to the Qatar royal family? Let's get into it right about now. Let's get our simple party started. So, uh, to begin the party, I've, 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 I've chosen the Daily Star. Uh, they've written a very beautiful, a very beautiful article and piece uh, around this story, and um, they so have decided to go uh, with their read. Obviously, there are so many other stories out there, but let us use this one. Um, it sounds good. Now, their headline is actually spot on, and that's the reason as to why um, I've used their article. They're saying cryptic, uh, sorry, just a minute. Cryptic tweets leave us no fans convinced Qatar takeover could be imminent. A tweet from Sheikh Khalifa bin, uh, wow, this is, you know, these names are, 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 so, are so long, but we shall manage. A tweet from Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Thani, a member of the Qatari royal family, means Arsenal fans are suddenly dreaming of ousting Stan Kroenke with a huge takeover. Arsenal fans are beginning to speculate about a potential uh, monumental takeover by the Qatari royal family after a cryptic uh, after a cryptic tweet um, earlier this week. Sheikh Khalifa bin, uh, bin Ahmad uh, Al Thani, the former president of the Qatar side, uh, Al Rabi, and current, wow, well, wh wh what is this? As this, um, and current member of the ruling royal family of Qatar, uh, got supporters talking when he posted a picture of the Arsenal, uh, of the Arsenal badge with the caption, the rest of the time, seven months. The rest of the time, seven months. And he said another uh, uh, um, uh, uh, another tweet earlier in the day read, "I think it's time to sell. The situation is getting worse. Um, the situation is getting worse than bad." London read. He also said uh, the, uh, the Daily Star also said that uh, Kuwait newspaper. Uh, Alcabas since uh, has reported that the Sports Investment Authority in Qatar is keen to add a Premier League team to their ranks. Qatar already um, have a huge influence over European football after the purchase of Paris Saint-Germain. Now that is the lad. That is the lad. That is how he looks like. I don't know whether uh, he looks good to be an Arsenal owner, but that's how it, that is how it looks like. That is how it looks like. Um, 
just just need something more just uh, there we are um Arsenal fans are now suddenly dreaming of a potential takeover after the social media messages earlier this week one of the fans said all i want for christmas is for that qatar royal family to buy arsenal please one fan said arsenal finger went to qatar and convinced them to buy arsenal um you know to buy arsenal my manager another one added qatar investment would be amazing to arsenal a third arsenal fan wrote as those arsenal fans do react i'll love us on the podcast to react to this story as well what is your reaction do you think arsenal should get into the hands of the qatar royal family this is what i think as cosy because i uh, definitely you're, you know you're listening you're waiting for what is gonna say what is it gonna say um uh, my, my opinions are simple it's been it's, since 2007 when the Cronkies actually initiated contact with Arsenal until 2011 when they got full ownership of the Arsenal um of Arsenal as a club it's been a shambles it's been an absolute shambles now I know any uh, in any uh, you know many Arsenal fans out there are gonna tell me Kosi I don't care whoever comes in um as long as Cronky goes but we've got to think about it Cron- you know, if Cronky goes and we're getting someone who cares about the club uh, if, and we're getting someone who uh, appreciates the club appreciates the values of the club and appreciates the ambitions and structure of Arsenal football club building back the identity and bringing fans to the table that is what you want and that's the reason as to why the likes of Patrick Vieira the likes of um uh, uh chili Henry backed daniel egg because they know uh daniel egg is an arsenal fan and you know, he wanted to buy arsenal under the guise that he would actually include fan represented you know, uh, fan representation on the board as well as restoring the best values of arsenal football club now don't get me wrong i'm not standing in the way uh, of arsenal being bought by the qataris because i know what that means we could become one of, because it's overnight it happens overnight we've seen them manchester city um i still remember when we bought in samuel nasri city was a small club they bought samuel nasri they bought out the bio the boat they bought um um carlos Tevez, and they became a great side all all they did was invest every time they spent a billion um under you know pep, uh, under pep Guardiola's management a billy like they've spent a billy and that's what we're talking about that if you get um you know if, if you get the management of the qataris you're gonna spend billies but definitely the question is is it in the best interest of arsenal um and its values and that's why i've, I've asked you at the beginning of this question uh, at the beginning of this session is you know would you sell to daniel egg because he's got the best interests of arsenal as a club uh, as an as, as an institution you know at heart or would you sell to the qataris splash the money become the next psg um you don't care you don't give uh, you, you you don't actually care you know about what happens next one thing i'm gonna say um in in, in the last 30 seconds as i log off we shall speak live um about this deal uh at exactly at exactly 9 30. one thing i'm gonna say is if the qataris do come in and arsenal becomes a big club and we spend you know millions and millions of money i'm okay if daniel a comes and we don't spend millions of money but we spend decently invest in the club decently i would be better than that definitely i would so it depends on what you kind know, of what side of the coin are you uh do you want to be uh the psg or do you want to be the decent arsenal that's you know look even if we don't buy a Kylian Mbappe and we bought in um um and we bought in uh, and we bought in an Arling Haaland for 75 million pounds i'll be fine because if under daniel egg if we can buy um you know Arling Haaland for 75 i'd rather be okay than that uh if we're going to buy in um Kylian Mbappe for 200 million and then spoil the club now i'm not saying the qataris would spoil the club what i'm saying is we need to be cautious the money at times comes with strings attached but that is the story and that is the rumor 
the Qatari royal family or the Qatari uh, royals are much interested in buying Arsenal. They are reportedly interested in adding another Premier League side to their sports investment um, hierarchy. When they become the like, like the Cronkies, because at the end of the day, if they take PSG, if they take Arsenal, if they start picking up these big clubs, you never know. They don't have football in their, you know, in, in their back in, you know, back at home. They they don't know what the joy of football is. They could at, at one point, in, you know, in time, want to take those clubs, you know, to Qatar, and because they have the money and full ownership, we might have nothing to do about it. We've got to be very careful. My name is Kosi. That is um the story. That is the update. Really, I didn't want to uh, spoil it, and I did spoil it. I know many many people are like. We are demoralized. Don't worry. Um, we speak. Uh, you know, we speak again very, very soon. Uh, we will speak about um, Ahausim Awa uh, transfers and a couple of other stories around Arsenal. And like I said, it will be, it will be at exactly 9:30 p.m. Make sure you tuned in for the live session.